Hello and welcome lovely viewers. I hope each one of you had a wonderful weekend filled with relaxation and good times. Now, let's transition into an exciting session as we delve into two captivating topics that are sure to pique your interest. Virex, a pioneer in the crypto payment platform sector, has recently introduced a game-changing innovation, WPay. This revolutionary payment infrastructure is a significant milestone for both Virex and the entire industry. WPay is not your ordinary blockchain. It's an application-specific blockchain built on zero-knowledge technology. This privacy-focused cryptographic method brings robust security and privacy features to the blockchain while remaining compatible with the Ethereum virtual machine. WPay is designed for high throughput and minimal latency, promising to redefine the speed and efficiency of digital transactions. So what's intriguing is that Virex has chosen its native Virex token as the primary gas token for WPay transactions. This adds utility to the token and integrates it further into the Virex ecosystem. But that's not all. WPay offers near instant interoperability with other Polygon chains, giving users seamless access to shared liquidity across the Polygon ecosystem. Virex's strategic decision to build WPay on Polygon's chain development kit ensures modularity, customizability and access to a shared liquidity pool, making it a valuable addition to the growing ecosystem of EZK-powered Layer 2 chains on Ethereum. One exciting application of WPay is the introduction of non-custodial debit cards linked directly to account abstraction balances. This means that not only individual users, but also enterprises including DAOs can use crypto for everyday transactions wherever Visa is accepted. Virex's journey toward integrating crypto and fiat into a seamless financial experience doesn't stop here. Plans are underway to integrate the platform with major digital payment services like Apple Pay and Google Pay, potentially expanding its user base by millions. With impressive growth in virtual card issuance and integrated banking services, Virex is establishing itself as a global, licensed and regulated platform catering to a wide range of financial needs. CEO Pavel Matvi recently reiterated Virex's commitment to bridging the traditional and digital financial worlds, actively shaping the rapidly evolving financial landscape. Virex is not just adapting, it's leading the way towards a future where digital and fiat currencies coexist and complement each other in a unified, secure and inclusive financial ecosystem. In their classroom in El Salvador, students are about to embark on a journey that's quite different from traditional education, Bitcoin 101. Yes, you heard that right. Thanks to a new pilot program initiated by the El Salvadoran Ministry of Education in collaboration with Bitcoin Beach and My First Bitcoin, where students are learning about blockchain mining and digital wallets. This isn't the first time we have seen cryptocurrency education. But what makes this special is the scale and the audience. Public schools in a nation that adopted Bitcoin as legal tender just two years ago are now delving into cryptocurrency education. El Salvador's Bitcoin journey hasn't been without its challenges, but it has brought unexpected benefits including increased tourism to the country. My first Bitcoin founded in 2021 has already taught 25,000 Salvadoran students in person. They have introduced a 10-week Bitcoin diploma, which is an open-source course where that's as accessible as courses offered by top universities. This program also trained teachers from El Salvador's Ministry of Education, ensuring they are well-versed in Bitcoin basics. The educational material covers a wide range of economic subjects and is available in multiple languages, including English, German, Korean and Spanish. While prominent Bitcoin figures like Saif Dean Amos advise the El Salvadoran president, the educational material is crafted by dedicated teachers in El Salvador and the United States. Beyond El Salvador, My First Bitcoin collaborates with educational projects in over 20 countries, including Canada, the United States, Hong Kong and Cuba. Interestingly, two more Latin American governments have expressed interest in introducing Bitcoin syllabus in their countries. As El Salvador's experiment unfolds, the world watches closely. Could this curriculum redefine how we think about money, not just in Central America, but around the world? So only time will tell. And that wraps up today's topics. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more exciting content. 
So thank you all for joining us and we'll see you in the next video.